The only place to grab one of these official shirts is ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment. There's a million of them. Check them out. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. What's up, Dan Dans? Welcome to 616 Nitro. My name is Ian. This week on the show, we're playing WCW NWO Revenge. And we're going after the Cruiserweight Championship of the world with the one and only Rey Mysterio Jr. You can see I got him in the Spider-Man outfit here. Spider-Man No Way Home just came out recently. And this Cruiserweight title is going to be ours. Y2J Chris Jericho is the first opponent standing in our way, but he ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Is he one of the greatest of all time? Sure. But is Rey Mysterio one of the greatest of all time? Also sure. You know, what a great way to get things started here against the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, the Pain Maker. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> that big old head of steam to get us started here. Now, Dan Dan's, I was looking through uh, season two of 616 Nitro and even season one of 616 Nitro. It's kind of like trying to figure out where the variety lies and what we can hit on and I realized it's been a while since I hit on any Nintendo stuff and my reasoning is this for a long time my focus was I don't want to do too many WWE games oh big corkscrew moonsault nobody home I didn't want to do too many WWE games in a row. I wanted to keep mixing it up. So we're doing the Def Jam Vendetta story mode. We've played some Fire Pro Wrestling World. Uh, played some WCW video games. Here we go again. Oh, front flip senton, nobody home. But what I realized was I've been doing a good job of avoiding playing too many WWE games, too many mainstream games, you know? But I have not been doing a great job of mixing up the consoles that I've been playing. So I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that there has been a lack of variety in that sense. The next couple weeks, we are, drop toe hold. Next couple weeks, we will spend some time playing a couple games that we have not touched on recently. And we all know that the Aki games are some of the greatest wrestling games ever made. So this week, we are gonna win the WCW Cruiserweight Championship of the world with Rey Mysterio Jr. And then next week, we're going to touch on another Aki classic. I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. I'm going to let you be surprised. Oh, look at that DDT! I want to keep hitting... Look at that crooked-ass moonsault. It wasn't the prettiest moonsault of all time, but it got the job done. That spinning wheel kick, I cannot say the same for it. There's that DDT one more time. Pick him up. We got Jericho right where we want him. And that DDT, oh, I thought we busted him open, but we didn't. Victory roll! Oh my goodness gracious, that was close. If this were Def Jam Vendetta, Jericho would now have a full finisher bar and mine would be empty because that game is not very nice to me. Big reversal up over the top. Jericho's got me where he wants me. Double underhook power bomb. I love wrestling games, man. I just do. That's one of my favorite things about 616 Nitro is it just gives me an excuse. Oh, I'm sorry about that. My phone fell off the fucking table and hit the tripod. Psychosis with the run-in. And of course he's going after me. Look, pal, get the fuck out of here. Oh, don't try and rip my mask off. You sons of bitch. There, you hit your own friend, fuck face. How about that? Go find something to do. Victory roll for your deeds. Psychosis is too fucking stupid to make the save for his own boy. Are you kidding? He's standing right there. And you know what makes me so happy? Psychosis is going to be, I mean, he's got to be in this gauntlet of wrestlers that we're going to face before we earn that number one contendership status. There's the victory roll for the win. Who's... Next, I'm not talking about Goldberg, you know what I'm saying? The Ice Man, Dean Malenko. The man of a thousand holds. <sighs> have you, if you guys have never seen Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio face off one-on-one, -on -one, big mistake. 
go on your streaming service of choice and look up Rey Mysterio versus Dean Malenko. You will not be... Oh, fuck! You will not be disappointed. I went for that big drop kick to start things off, and he was not having it. And how quickly I ran through Jericho there is so funny to me because every time I start up this game, I have flashbacks to the world title run with Sting. And I have flashbacks to how badly Rick Steiner whooped my fucking ass. Oh, God, that front flip senton to the outside is not good for business. But whipping dudes into the rail is good for business. Dean, I got an idea. You stand right there, and I will do this. Fuck you. That's not what I wanted. And I will do this. No, stay where you are. <laughs> I'm trying to do a big dive ski for the Dan Dans. Dan Dans, as I always do, I want to ask you guys not only what you're playing lately, I want to ask you when's the last time you fired up WCW NWO Revenge? That's what I want to know. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go behind my D. Malenko German suplex. But the ring awareness was not top tier. Our feet were caught up in the ropes. That's a no-go for the Iceman. Now, some people hear Iceman, they think Chuck Liddell. Some people hear Iceman, they think a Top Gun. But wrestling fans hear Iceman, and they think of the man of a thousand holds, Dean Malenko. I'm going to whip that boy into the corner for a big one of these. Oh, yeah. Rock bottom off the second rope. Ray bottom? Maybe it's a Ray bottom. Ooh. That animation is so funny. How they fucking stick their necks out at each other like that. What is Ray's... Oh, spinning wheel kick up and over the top rope. Front flip senton. 0 for 3. <laughs> Maybe I should cool it on that one. Oh, look at the lucha prowess of Dean Malenko. He outdid me at my own fucking game. Come here. You think just because you're standing in the entryway that you're safe? I got news for you, pal. Twisting head scissors! Better get in this ring, sucker! Come on, pal. Oh, fuck! Apparently I don't remember how to do the dive very well. <laughs> Bing, bang, boom. Fuck out of here. Let's try it again. Come Oh, god damn it. My momentum failed me. <laughs> my, I'm sorry. My high-flying maneuvers are just not working out. And you would think playing as Rey Mysterio, if, if I had anything figured out, it would be those. Up to the top. Superplex! Now, I respect Dean Malenko as a competitor. I respect him as a Hall of Fame level talent. Just because he was never World Heavyweight Champion doesn't mean he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame running. You know what I'm saying? He definitely should be. Frankensteiner off the top rope. Ray goes back up. Crooked Moon Salt, but Dean Malenko puts the knees in action. Oh, son of a bitch. He's, you see that drop kick to the knee? He's trying to take out my fucking foundation. He wants to take the hops away from Rey Mysterio, but we're not going to let him do it. Rear chin lock. What? Shit. <laughs> I don't know if I finished my thought earlier, but I have flashbacks to Rick Steiner just pounding my ass into the fucking ground when I was playing as Sting. And uh, every other, like, championship run I've done, I've started so hot. But that just reminds me of uh, Handy Dandy Andy Jarek over on Monday Night Blitz. His first drive is always impeccable. It's like Mike Tyson, my style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable. His first drive is always out of control. But last week, or this week, I should say, based on when I'm recording this, the Jacksonville Jaguars had their way oh no electric chair reversal the jacksonville jaguars had their way with andy and his steelers but that's never gonna happen again that was the worst loss of the season it's only onwards and upwards from here these steelers are about to fucking show everybody what's what you heard it here first into the rope skis off the rope skis nobody home ski <laughs> No, no, no! Dean, don't do it! Dean, don't do it! 
Tiger Suplex! Ooh, only a one count. He is not going to be happy about that. Now, this isn't Def Jam Vendetta, so I can put a little bit more, um, a little more effort into being strategic with my avoidance of his special. I don't have to actually leave the ring and run around. German suplex! Wrap him up like a spider! Almost stole one there from the man of a thousand holds. This is a good match. That opener against Jericho was just getting us started, but this is back and forth. He hit me with a special. There's the DDT! And that's actually the first special of this episode. Because I didn't hit one on Jericho. Hit him with the old victory roll! Damn, damn, damn! I was going to say once Rey Mysterio has you wrapped up in that victory roll, it's curtains for you, sucker. But Dean Malenko says, no way. He was planning on getting me in that corner and hitting me with God knows what, but fuck, he might do it right here! Dean Malenko! Takes Ray to the other side. This is a good match. <laughs> and I'm not letting him. Oh, superplex. I'm not letting him get his shit in. I'm trying. Come on. Oh, just a two count. That was probably a 2.6. Wasn't quite a 2.9. But it wasn't quite just a two. I am on the verge. There it is. Come here, Dean. Huh? Come here, you son of a bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Jumping up! DDT! What's the corner special for Ray? Get in the fuck. Get on the goddamn. Here we go. Are you my asshole? What just happened? One more. There it is! Two specials that'll do it. Are you fucking. Are you fucking in general? That's the question. Arm drag, got him where we want him to. Ray, go to the fucking top rope. I don't know why he's not. Corkscrew Moonsault! I don't know why he's not cooperating with me. But I don't need your cooperation anymore because I got reversed. Whoop. Oh, I thought he was about to count. I was going to say, sucker, I know you see my feet in the ropes. Arm drag, got him where we want him. Ray, get to. Why is he doing that? I'm trying to get him to go up to the top. And he keeps jumping around Dean Malenko like a fucking flea. I don't need that. I also don't need him to earn that special. So let's try and wear this meter down with a long animation. We caught him. Trapped him in that long animation. Look at the arm bar. Get out of here. God damn. Ooh. Dude, that first match, we caught through Jericho like he was nothing. Dean Malenko is not about it. Every time I go behind, he gets the reversal. That's a rope break. That was a fucking rope break. This is the fucking uh, Los Angeles screw job. I don't know where we are. Where was the Super Brawl 97? Unbelievable. Let's see if we can get a look at this replay to see what a fuck job that was. Look at this. Are you out of your asshole? My head had to break through the bottom rope. This is a second look. Ooh, I don't like losing the second match. Come on now. Come on now. Look at the hand. The hand's on and under the rope. If your hand is under the rope, that's also a rope break. Don't get it twisted with WWE rules where you have to literally hold the fucking thing. If you are under the ropes, that's a rope break. Ooh, it's time for Mysterio versus Malenko 2. He's not getting off so easy this time. Um, all right, well, it put me back to <laughs> the main menu. I thought if I lost, I got another shot. What the fuck? I got to start over now. Son of a bitch. We see Ultimo Dragon with the Cruiserweight title. And I want it. We're not taking this lion down. You know what we're going to do? Fuck Super Brawl. We're going to switch over to Halloween Havoc. That's going to feel a little better. And you know what? The Spider-Man costume didn't work out that well for us, so what do we want? Do we want this weird color? Whoever owned this game before me made that ray. We've got the classic Halloween Havoc 97 ray. Uh, black and white. You know what? Halloween Havoc Arena, Halloween Havoc 97 ray. That's the way to go. This is how we win the title. 
Fuck the entrances. Oh, and it's matching me up with Dean Malenko immediately. I hope that I don't just run through him because he's the first guy. I hope this is still competitive, which it might be. Because the, the Rick Steiner match that I talked about earlier where I got my shit pushed in, that was a first match as well. Did you see that spinning hook kick? Bing, bang, boom. I love that. I love that three piece right there. Can't, still can't quite get the dive down. But what? Get out of my ring, sucker. You know, one of my favorite things to do is, is run their head off the fucking ring post. Here it is. Moonsault onto the concrete. Nobody home. A man's flesh and bones strikes the concrete. And the steel barricade. Okay, D. Malenko is just a tough son of a bitch in this game. And that's fine, because he's a tough son of a bitch in real life. And I'm sure you guys actually don't mind the loss, because it's just going to make the episode longer. <laughs> so it's more content for you guys to take in. We got to get in the ring, Dean! I'm not. I'm a baby face when I'm playing as Rey Mysterio. I'm not trying to get any cheap wins. Twisting head scissors, how about it? I'm staying on you this time. I'm not letting up. The offense continues. Did I mean to do the same move twice in a row? No. But is it the end of the world? Also no. Look at this. Wrapping around him. Headlock into the takeover. Grab that knee. Smash it. He was able to post up on that German suplex pin last time. If I take that fucking knee out, there's no way. Got him wrapped up. Just a one. Just a one. Part of me would have felt cheap if I was able to catch him in that victory roll, but then the other part of me would have been like, ooh, how about that? You thought you could get me twice in a row and I put you away in under two minutes. From the top, Frankensteiner! How's he feeling about that? We're making progress. From a one to a two, it's only gonna take one more second. Mark Curtis, AKA Brian Hildebrand. The referee is going to need to be in proper position this time. None of that... Fuck, I was trying to do a springboard moonsault. I'm sorry. None of that bullshit like last time. I don't know why it's not working, but I'm going to abandon it. Because it's just... Now it's getting embarrassing. Oh, Dean Malenko cartwheels out of the head scissors. Cartwheel out of this, you motherfucker. <laughs> Here, I got some shit for that ass. And I did not forget. Oh, look at that fucking twirling back suplex. I did not forget that you kicked out of two of my finishes in the last in the last match, Dean. I didn't forget that. Trying to make me look weak. You're trying to make me look less than. Trying to make me look like a Jabroni Jabinski. You think I appreciate that? I don't. Not by a long shot. Get up, sucker. Big drop kick. Okay, if I'm anywhere near him, I cannot run to the top rope. Just can't do it, because Ray will get confused and start jumping around like a fucking moron. Look at that reversal! Vertical snapmare! I've actually never seen that animation in my life. Dan Dan's, let me know if you've seen that before, because I have not. That was a world premiere, at least for me. Get out of here, ass! Come on, you're not- come on! Trying to hit me with that bullshit. Now if we walk to the top, there we go. There's that moon salt. See, you know what it is? You know why I keep jumping around him is because I'm trying to use the run button to get into the corner as quickly as possible. Back body drop. Psychosis? What is your fucking deal, dude? Come here. I got something for you. Oh no! Oh no! Suplex back into the ring into the danger zone Where there are two guys waiting to kick my ass big head scissor takeover. So I see you in here you fuck Get out of here ass. Ooh, he got denied psychosis. How about this jumping up DDT Dean I got one for you, too, but I accidentally did a weak grapple, okay? <laughs> you know what? How's this for embarrassment? Hit you with your own shit Double underhook powerbomb to the top rope. Diving moonsault. And that's going to do it. Oh, man. Dude, okay. See? Rey Mysterio, Dean Malenko, put him in the ring. You got a classic on your hands. That's all you need to know. 
But I inherently got him in the victory roll, trapped him. Oh fuck! I um, I inherently kind of I I used him to make his own finish look weak, because I hit it on him, followed by a moonsault, and he still kicked out. So your move sucked, pal. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I was lying. I was kidding. It was just a joke. Don't do it. He's going for the Texas Cloverleaf. Dean Malenko. Rey Mysterio. Rey my fucking rope break. How about it? To the top. Head scissor takeover. We got to get some of these taunts going, brother. <laughs> that one didn't even do anything for me. Victory roll. Oh, yeah. Had him in the corner. Fully legal. You can watch the replay to double fucking check if you must. There was no rope break, no controversy. Fair and square, as clean cut as deli fucking meat. You understand? Check it out. Legs away from the ropes. I feel kind of feel like we can see Dean's asshole right there. But arms away from the ropes. That's what matters. This second run of the Cruiserweight title. This is the truth. This is the real one. Now, this is some big business. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Chris Jericho. They're alternating opponents on me here. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we know we can take out Chris Jericho. We can take him out like he ain't nothing. Dean Malenko was a bigger, tougher test. But I also might be looking past the first ever WWF Undisputed Champion. Which could be a major mistake, but here's how we're gonna we're gonna test that theory. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what if he just rolled me over and pinned me? <laughs> I was gonna say this is how we're gonna we're gonna test the theory is if I nail this, he's gonna get smoked. But he reversed it immediately, so maybe that's not a great sign. What a chop! to the chest did you see jericho shake out his hand he hurt his hand on our fucking rib cage our sternum and you know what i don't have earl hebner in the ring here this time this isn't the smackdown shut your mouth season mode i can't blame earl for getting in the way and i can't blame earl for getting in the way and i can't hit jericho with those fucking kicks there we go drop him down hit him with one of these Whoop! He ran right into that. He thought he was going underneath me, but no such luck, son of a bitch. Okay, stop diving headfirst at Chris Jericho. Oh, here we go! I don't know how to do this! Oh no! Am I supposed to tap, or is this just gonna play out however it plays out? Here we go, look- Oh no! Chris Jericho wraps up the arm, but Rey Mysterio! Tricky dicky moves! Whoop! What did I... I told myself to stop doing that. I did it again. Chop to the chest. Just a front chop. Dan Dans, I'll have you know that earlier today, I went to the local uh, establishment where I, I bought all of my exotic animals, all of my scorpions and my snake and everything. It's also where I get their food every week. And I went... Er oh, here we go again! I went earlier today and I got some crickets for the scorpions. So if you hear a little bit of cricket action in the background, I'm sorry. Uh, nothing I can really do about that. But also, the reason I brought this up is because my Asian forest scorpion, Setsuna, is... Uh, oh no, sorry, she's, the, she's Roman. Setsuna's my desert hairy scorpion. Roman is on the move right now. She is stalking crickets. I can see it out of the corner of my eye. And you know what? Roman, you're distracting me, you, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to take out Lionheart, Chris Jericho, the man of a thousand and four holds. You can see it on the butt of his tights right there. We took out the man of a thousand holds. Now the man of a thousand four holds stands in our way. I feel, oh fuck, I feel like clothesline. I feel bad for anybody watching this right now who has not seen Chris Jericho and Dean Malenko's feud in WCW where uh, Jericho called electric chair where Jericho called himself the man of a thousand four holds absolutely fantastic stuff 
You know, when you hear people look back on WCW, you hear people talk about the NWO, you hear people talk about Sting, but some of the Cruiserweight title and US title feuds were also absolute highlights in WCW that are not uh, looked back on fondly enough. Did I embarrass myself by running all the way across the ring and throwing a kick at no one? Yeah, I did. Are we gonna lose sleep over it? No, we're not. Fuck you! The it oh, see, shit ass! The issue I'm having here is trying to uh, manage my weak grapples and my strong grapples because if I start going for the strongs too early, he'll reverse them and his special meter is going to go through the fucking roof. It got him in the... Oh, I don't got him in the corner. See, because if I hit him with a weak grapple, that puts his special up just as much as it does mine. Got him where we want him. DDT! Busting him wide open. Jericho is going to be losing fuck. He's not going to be losing fuck. Maybe he is. That's that's his business. That's not my business. Oh, got him. Put him in the rear chin lock to sap some energy from his finisher meter right there. You see that? You see how it went from red. Now we're getting into medium orange territory. It's still neck and neck though. Look at fuck. And that just put him back in the lead. Look at his spirit meter, look at my spirit meter. Here we go, boom, drop that elbow. What is this move? Oh, La Maestra Credo! Ooh, man, see, that's the problem. If you go for a pin like that and your opponent kicks out, he is in finisher territory, arm drag. A move Jericho knows a little something about. No, 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 no! That was a dangerous German suplex, and Jericho now, oh, he was ready to enact his special. And I was like, we gotta catch him in a long animation and kill that meter. He reversed the DDT though. Fuck you, no, I did it again. I did that diving headbutt again, and he reversed it again. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fuck! This is not going well. His momentum, every time I think I'm getting his momentum down, he just picks it right back up. There's a drop kick for your deeds. Nope, you see that? I almost went for the fucking, uh, the diving headbutt again. I thought better of it. I went back on my instincts. Doesn't matter, he gets the reversal, but we avoid that. Let's put him down. Shit ass! I wanted to put him down in the corner. There's a big kick up to the top. Moon salt! What a finish! Holy shit, that was a good match. Dude, that was back and forth the entire time. That was like deep orange to deep orange on the finish meter. Look at this, to the top with the moonsault. Got him lined up so perfectly, it went right into the pin. Gorgeous. I've been trying to skip these, but it fucking WCW and NWO Revenge with their scores. How about it? Great score, right? Who's next? Psychosis, the man who keeps trying to stick his pointy ass masked nose into our fucking business, you know? Now, he's gonna pay for it. The day of reckoning has come. For psychosis you can do your fancy little fucking jump over the top rope and did you see how the rope bounced when he jumped over the top of it there to oh yeah you're not gonna block the headbutt like jericho did put on uh one of your fucking new wwe 2k games and watch how the ropes bounce when you hit an offensive maneuver they don't i don't know why they did that i don't know why they took the rope physics out of the ring when you do moves but they did at some point I'm also going to say this right now, uh, if you have pre-ordered WWE 2K22, you're part of the problem. And I'm not saying that to insult you, I'm saying that to just try and fucking clue you in. WWE 2K20 was a horrendous- OH FUCK YOU! That's some of you to me right now. 2K20 was a horrendous botched mess and they stole your money with that game. You think they didn't know the shape that game was in when they shipped it? They absolutely did. Now here's why I say what I say about 2K2022. 
2K canceled 2K21. 2K 2022 has been delayed by nearly a year at this point. At the time that this episode is airing, we are a couple months away from the release of 2K 2022. And what have you seen from the game? Nothing of substance. You have seen a sizzle reel that they say is gameplay, and it is cut up and slapped together. You should be extremely concerned over the fact that you don't know the full roster, you have not seen full match gameplay, and if you have already given them money, I say you're part of the problem because these companies out there are never going to put effort into truly improving these games if you keep giving them money for nothing. That's all I'm saying. Am I confirming to you right now 2K22 is going to be bad? No, because I don't know that. I hope it's not bad. I hope they have taken the exorbitant amount of extra time that they have and have really improved the game and found their footing. Because remember, this is not Ukes anymore. This is visual concepts. So I hope that they have learned from their mistakes and they're going to put out a better product. But you have no reason to believe that that is what's going to happen. So... If you have not paid for it yet, wait until you have reviews from somebody you trust. Whether that is your favorite gaming website, whether it's an independent YouTuber like me, uh, wait until you have feedback from people you trust before you give them any fucking money. That's my feedback to you. That's my tip. This is how we're going to improve the gaming landscape. You don't give people money until they deserve it. Jumping up, DDT! We got Psychosis right where we want him. He's busted open. Ray goes to the top rope. Moonsault! Get the fuck out of here. Hook the leg. Beautiful match, powered by my fucking gut reaction to 2K 2022. How about it? We're trucking now. We're killing it now. Three wins in a row, and here comes Chavito Heat. Chavo Guerrero doesn't have Pepe with him. If you guys are not old school WCW fans, Pepe was basically uh, Chavo Guerrero's version of Moppy. If you're a WWF Attitude Era fan, remember when Saturn carried around the fucking mop and its name was Moppy? Chavo had a. Uh, it was like a horse on a fucking stick. Remember those old shitty toys? He had one that he carried around and he named it Pepe. <laughs> so Chavo does not have Pepe here, but he does have a chop to the chest. Chop to Chavo, how about it? How about another one, just for good measure? You know what, if you pre-ordered WWE 2K... Oh, Chavo, you fucked me. I was gonna say, if you pre-ordered 2K 2022, I was gonna do one more chop, just for the shit of it. Look at the technique from these two warriors. Ray, snap into action. There we go. Take the legs out. Twist the arm. The vertical base falls apart. Head scissor take over right into the rear chin lock. Don't get it twisted. We're going to run through Chavo just like we ran through Psychosis. All these LWO lackeys are going down. And I feel like I have so much that I have to explain. For some of the younger Dandans who did not grow up with WCW. Or maybe some of you uh, Dandans who are my age. Who are 31. And maybe you were just a WWF kid. But yes, the LWO was a thing. It was the Latino World Order. That was Eddie Guerrero's faction. And the reason I say LWO lackeys is because Eddie... All the guys underneath him. Juventud Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero, Psychosis. He treated them all like shit. They were all lackeys, and Eddie's main feud at that time was with Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, because yes, he is a junior, even though WWE never acknowledges it. <laughs> uh, Eddie was trying to get Rey to join the LWO so hard, and Rey would not do it. Rey believed in standing for himself. Frankensteiner! Rey believed uh, not that the, the Latino World Order didn't stand... Uh, not that that wasn't a good thing that a bunch of Latinos came together. He believed that it was not representative of Latinos. He was like, you guys are jerks. You're bad guys. You don't stand for what Latinos stand for, so I won't stand for this. What a fucking great feud, man. Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero. Happened in this very arena. I like WCW a lot. Can you tell? I grew up as a WCW kid. Can you tell? <laughs> 
Man, we are wrestling circles around Chavo Guerrero Jr. here. How many different kinds of head scissors does he want to taste? We got him with the Frankensteiner. We got him with that head scissor takeover. We got him with that twisting deal. Hit him with a drop kick. Because I missed the grapple. <laughs> How about this, huh? German suplex. Wrap him up. Ooh, I don't like that. Can we sneak in a full taunt here? Yes, we can. Big mistake, Chavito. You should have stopped me from doing that. But he's got no energy left. Because of the ass whooping I've been putting on him. Spinning him in circles with all these head scissors. This is where we enact. Code Red Finisher. With that jumping tornado DDT. But now we're going to hit him with something special. Go behind one of these, Frankensteiner! Are you my asshole, Chavo? I don't appreciate that, sucker. I hit you with both of my best deals and you're just gonna kick out? Take one of these. Man, he's fighting as hard as he can, isn't he? I'll give him a round of applause for that, but try getting out of this. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It was a valiant effort. He gave it everything he had, but it wasn't enough. We gotta be getting close to the gold. We gotta be getting close to the gold. Oh, geez. <laughs> the Canadian Crippler, Chris Benoit. You know what? I had someone in my comments get mad at me recently over some Chris Benoit jokes. Uh, from the SmackDown Here Comes the Pain season mode run. Listen, I'm still going to make Benoit jokes. It's just going to happen. Now, am I going to make them all the time? No. But when I feel like they fit, I'll do it. And I always am entertained by, number one, the fucking numbskulls who think that Benoit didn't do what he did and that it's actually he was framed. Uh, Kevin Sullivan did it. Yes, there are really people in the world who believe that garbage. Um, you gotta get your brain checked. You gotta go to brain jail. Um, but I also find it funny when people are like, you know, you shouldn't make Chris Benoit jokes. He was one of the greatest of all time. Listen, the greatest of all time at his job. Sure, he was one of them. Benoit was a fantastic wrestler. But, if you work in insurance, and then you kill your wife and son and yourself, no one's gonna say... You know, Bob was, he was a great insurance salesman. One of the greatest of all time. <laughs> what he did at work doesn't matter. Here we go into the corner. Look at that step up, backflip kick. I just realized I have that move. I'm gonna try and not overuse it now. So, I'll try not to overdo it with the Benoit jokes, but it is what it is. It's like the Hogan racist jokes. It is what it is. If you don't like it, Maybe that's your problem. <laughs> Drop kick. Send that man forward. We're wrestling circles around him. I know Benoit liked to fancy himself as one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time. Tell me how you're gonna stop Ray Mysterio Jr. We are on a collision course. Our destiny is to capture the WCW Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And you think you're gonna stop me? Frankensteiner, wrap him up! Just a one. That's alright. I'll keep putting a beating on you if that's what you need. Come here, sucker. There's a suplex to bring him back in. Can I... You know what? I was saying, can I hit the lion salt from here? Wasn't really working out. But here's what I want to do now. I do want to try to get some springboard moonsault action going here. Got it! Perfect! Nailed it! How awesome would a finish have that... I totally botched that sentence. How awesome would it have been if that was the finish? There, there you go. That's alright though, that's alright though. Everyone's kicking out of my fucking finish anyway. Oh, that's a spine buster you don't want to see if you're Rey Mysterio Jr. or a fan of Rey Mysterio Jr. And if you're watching this, I trust that you are rooting for the man of mystery. You know what I'm saying? 
Who's that jumping out the sky? R E Y, you know? <laughs> oh no! Benoit reverses! Tornado DDT out of the corner! But we're dropping him with the kick. Wanted to go into the corner for the moonsault, but made the mistake of holding the run button. And you know what? It didn't make sense for Ray to do the second jump over. The first one made sense. But the second one, it was like the run button magnetized me to him. I should know better by now. I know. It oh, what a reversal. And what I don't understand is how his special meter got higher than mine. We got to nip this in the bud to the top rope. Moon salt. Show me something. Ooh, reversal. Come here. Come here. Power bomb. Wrap him up. Excellent. That was his own finishing move, by the way. I don't know why it wasn't the crossface, but it is what it is. What's our streak right now? Are we on a five-match winning streak? Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno is a fucking... Okay, not Disco Inferno. He's a character. Glenville Birdie is a fucking dickhead, though. I've said that in the past. Was very fucking rude to a friend of mine. And uh, legit dickhead, asshole, shithead. Fuck him. So we're not going to watch his whole entrance. He doesn't deserve it anyway. Nobody ever wanted to watch a Disco Inferno entrance. Arm drag for your deeds. I'm not going to sit here and be mad about it the whole time, but fuck him. Boom! How about it? Oh, yeah! You would do that, wouldn't you, you fucking pizza shit? That's your career highlight right there, is cheating against me. Who else remembers anything you fucking did in your whole life? Yeah, go ahead, do it again. Get another highlight. Now your highlight reel's a whole second long. Fuck face. They're also real generous on your proportions in this game, pal. Ooh, I don't like him. <laughs> What do you think about this? Pussy. <laughs> We're on a fucking roll here, Dan Dans. That cruiserweight title is coming home with Ray Mysterio Jr. If it's the last thing I do. Now, that's all he's got, huh? I won... The, uh, the WCW, of course it's WCW, it's the fucking game. I won the US title with Scott Hall on an episode of 616. Oh, look at that hook kick reversal. It was either on Nitro or SmackDown, it was one of the two. So I've done a US title run with Scott Hall. I did a world title run with Sting. After this Cruiserweight title run with Ray, all that's going to be left is the tag titles. And that's not to say that we can't do future runs on belts we've already captured. But if we're just looking at covering the entire board, we also have to mark those off for sure. Slip in a couple taunts here. Welcome. Fuck! I don't like. I don't even like that this match is past the two minute mark, if I'm being honest with you. Back suplex for your fucking deeds. Snapmareski, but see that's the problem. You know, you see MMA fighters sometimes they get all they get all worked up, they get all riled up by an opponent who is talking a lot of shit, and they head into the cage and they fight emotionally, and they they don't have their wits about them, so they make mistakes because they're operating off of anger rather than op operating off of skill and determination. So I gotta let this chunk stain not get under my fucking skin, okay? Because then I'll make big mistakes. Ray Bottom! <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Ray Bottom is a horrible move. Or a horrible name. But what the f- I've never seen Ray Mysterio do that move, so I guess it is what it is. How about the rear chin lock, bitch? Pull your head off your fucking shoulders. Man, that diving headbutt hasn't done me favors this whole time. I'm doing him favors with these light strikes, though. And these light grapples are doing favors for his spirit meter. We gotta, we gotta focus on us. We gotta, we gotta start focusing on, on, on the, on the fucking Rayman, okay? 
not the PlayStation 1 franchise of 3D platformer Rayman. Remember Rayman Legends on PS3? That was like the rebirth of Rayman. No, 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 it was Rayman Origins and Legends was the second one. Close line! Man, I was building up a head of steam there and he put a stop to it. I don't appreciate that. Rayman Origins was fucking great. And I never played Legends, which is probably a mistake. Because if it was any bit as good as Origins, then I know I missed out. Come get me, bitch. Corkscrew Moonsault! You're the first one to fall for that, you fucking idiot! How about a wheel kick for your deeds? Don't hit me in the balls. Oh, I, tr I blocked because I knew the ball shot was coming. He switched to a grapple. Asshole. Come here, shithole guy. Son of a fucking bitch. Every time I try to whip guys into the, the guardrail, it's not working. I'm oh, victory roll on the outside. Ray. Any move would have probably been better than the victory roll right there. He's trying to rip my mask off, this son of a fucking bitch. Disco, you were never over. The dance might have been over, but you weren't. Yeah, good idea. Pin me on the outside of the ring, fucko. Busted me open. Come here. He still thinks I'm playing. I was never playing. And he's gonna learn. Take the fucking knee out. I would say I'll end your career, but you did that yourself by sh fucking sheer irrelevance. <laughs> this, is some, this is some good shit talk, huh? Here we go, around the front, wrap him up! The first wrestling hold we actually put on him and it was nearly enough to finish him. Because he doesn't know what's what. Look at the moonsault kick! Diving headbutt in the corner! Got him right where we want him! Hey, Disco. What do you think about your own shit? The Franchiser! Now, Disco's move was actually he stole the stunner. He called it the Chart Buster. But how about the Frankensteiner? Wrap him up! Beautiful performance. You might have busted me open, but you're the one with the busted ass career. Who's... Next, send them out. Lodi, a member of Raven's flock. I don't know how many people remember Lodi, but he used to come to the ring with signs. Not Sign Guy Dudley. That was a, that was an ECW deal. But Lodi, uh, aka Soy Boy, would come to the ring with signs, and uh, they were usually pretty funny. Lodi and Lenny Lane made a pretty good tag team. Anybody remember Lenny Lane? Is Lenny Lane in this game? I think he is. Probably the only game he's in. And that's not an insult to Lenny Lane. He was, uh, and Lodi too. N nice, nice pair of young talent, you know? They were good cronies for Raven and the flock. I always hated them, but that just meant they were doing their job. Raven's feud with Saturn in WCW through 1998 was a pretty good one. Remember they had a match at Fall Brawl 98 and there was a spot where there was a table set up on the outside of the ring and Lodi tried to get involved in the match and Saturn hit Lodi with a Death Valley driver off the ring apron through the table that was on the floor. And that might be, sound like something that you'll hear on a random episode of AEW Rampage. But back in 1998, that was big business, dude. A Death Valley driver off the apron through a table. It was fucking awesome. And did Lodi then kick out? No, he wasn't even in the match. So he was dead for the rest of the match. And then they fucking, you didn't even see him get up and leave. <laughs> he was done. Dunzo after that. Big suplex to bring Lodi back in. And we are whooping this boy's ass just as we should. Twisting head scissors. Let's fill this finisher meter up with the quickness. Go ahead, hit me with your light strikes. See how that's gonna work out for my spirit meter, fuckface. <laughs> Man, he's got me hot, huh? Here we go. Jumping, spinning, 360 wheel kick. We got him right where we want him. I think we should find out what Lodi's finisher is. What do you think? 
Tiger Driver! Damn, beat him with his own fucking finish less than two minutes in. Give me the title shot, I'm ready! Who could possibly be next? Juventud Guerrera! Juvi, the juice! The master of probably the sloppiest 450 of all time. I don't know how many cruiserweights are left. <laughs> but if there's one guy that we gotta take seriously, it is Hooven too. Gotta love his proprietary, I had a stroke there, his proprietary uh, taunt in the corner. That was not some generic shit. Hooven to Guerrero used to come to the ring soaking fucking wet and he would shake his hair out like a madman. He would headbang a little bit. There's a big old knife edge chop to the chest of the juice. Look at this. Victory roll. That's my move, fucko. Come here, pal. Come here, pal. What do you think about this? You can't keep up with the speed of Rey Mysterio Jr. Are you out of your mind? Come here. You got a pretty face. Let's smash it up. Uh, fuck it. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Should not have said fuck it. Come here, you son of a bitch. You're not getting away that easy. Snapmare on the floor. The rear chin lock hurts even more outside the ring. You want to know why? Because I'm grinding his asshole bone. That tailbone, I'm grinding it into the floor. Ooh, I, did you see me back up? When he jumped, I was backing up because I was like, he's about to springboard my bitch ass. I'm standing right here just waiting for it. Dude, these these higher contenders are not giving me the challenge that I think that the bookers thought they were going to give me. Dean Malenko was the man who presented the challenge, and we wiped the floor with him, albeit in the rematch. He got the best of us the first time. I'm not going to take that away from him. But Juventud Guerrera... What do you think about tasting? Oh, look at that step up DDT. For whatever reason, he doesn't have the Hoobie Driver as his finish. Diving Moonsault. He's in danger. And, uh, shit. Come on. We got him. Got him. Frankensteiner. Oh, my God. I waited too long. I should have gotten that fucking pin when he was in danger, but I was... I, I tried to get too much shit in, and I paid for it. I certainly paid for it right there. Cost me a beautiful finish. Speaking of beautiful, step up, moonsault kick! But are we going to let that get in the way of a tremendous performance? No, we're not. DDT, and I think that impact on his brain alone should do it. Wow! The resilience of the juice. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. Oh, back suplex reversal. Hoovy's trying to build momentum. We cannot let this happen. Oop. I talked so much shit about these top contenders not having it for me. Oh, you fucked up, pal. You fucked up, pal. Gotcha. Break his arm. Got him in position for the springboard leg drop. That was a nice little setup right there. Got him right where we want him. Dropping the elbow across. I did not mean to go for a pin. I'm getting text messages while I'm recording. Very unprofessional. But it's okay. It's okay. That was, you know what that was? That was an accumulation of damage. This is the big one. The WCW Cruiserweight Championship of the world is on the line. Rey Mysterio Jr., the challenger, already in the ring, making his way down the aisle. Ultimo Dragon. I would have done like a big introduction for him, but off the top of my head, I don't know his height or weight. And I'm not exactly sure where he's from in Japan. I didn't want to just make something up and make it generic. So, uh, I paid him the respect of not just bullshitting it. Oh, both competitors start off sprinting across the ring. 
They meet in the middle, and it's Rey Mysterio Jr. who comes out on top of things with that diving head thrust. Now, much like uh, Ultimo Dragon, I think, was a, made a little too thick in WCW vs. The World. I also think he's a little too thick here in uh, Revenge. I don't know why they made him so thick. He wasn't an overweight guy, and he also wasn't a super muscular guy. He was a little bigger than Rey Mysterio. Um, but I, th I think he looks just a little too big here, but that's all right. Boom! Split him open with the spinning wheel kick! Ultimo Dragon may have underestimated the level of competition that he was going to face here tonight in Rey Mysterio Jr. Because he hasn't landed a single strike. Hasn't put on a one offensive maneuver. He's wrapped up. I was going to say, if we get him right there, that would be an embarrassing outing for Ultimo Dragon. Who is also one of the all-time greats. And we have turned his beautiful multicolored blue, yellow, and red mask to a stiff, a thick, a deep red. Exclusively red. You know, you can get the Ultima Dragon, you can get the blue and yellow mask online. Go to fucking Wrestling Superstore or some bullshit. Go to eBay and get yourself a, a bootleg copy. You want the all red design, you gotta step in the ring with Rey Mysterio Jr., brother. That's an exclusive. That's a spinning wheel kick exclusive, I tell you. Smash his knee into pieces. I'm not one to toot my own horn, but fucking beep, beep. The commentary on this episode has been on another level. Bash his already busted skull off the deal. Moonsault! And we finally land it. Moonsault to the outside. What happens if I do that moonsault kick out here? It gives me that. All right. Now we've got Ultimo Dragon in big trouble. Uh, I'm a little pissed off because they gave me zero credit for that taunt, which I did follow through to completion. They didn't up my, my spirit meter at all. I actually think they drained it a little bit. But we're gonna earn this finisher and we're going to put Dragon away with the quickness. The master, I believe the inventor of the Acai Moonsault, is going to feel the pain of the backflip, and he's going to feel it. Come here, you fuck. He's going to feel it right now in the corner. Step up, Moonsault kick into the diving head charge. Now, Dragon, I love you, pal, but it's time to eat your own finish. Running power bomb! Call D'Lo Brown! Oh, he kicks out of his own deal, but that's okay, because he's not going to kick out of the jumping tornado DDT! We got a new champ. Dan Dan's. What a series of matches. We've got a brand new new WCW Cruiserweight Champion of the World. His name is Ray Mysterio Jr. or PPP Mysterio Jr. God damn it. See, this is what happens when <laughs> these old cartridge games, people owned it before you and they fucked with the wrestlers. I swear to God I didn't do that. But Dan Dan's, thanks for tuning in. Look at nine matches in a row. That's a 9-0 and o streak right there. This is a long episode of 616 Nitro. I hope you enjoyed it. We got a new champ. I love you, and I'll see you next week.